World War III. Will there be a third world war? 1914, at the outbreak of World War I, H.G. Wells wrote a series of articles that appeared in a book called The War to End War. In other words, there would be no more war. Meanwhile, the retort of Prime Minister David Lloyd George was, this war, like the next war, is a war to end war. And so it was. World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and it continues to this day, war, war, war. At a rough count, 240 million people died during World War I to the present day. Now, H.G. Wells didn't get it right. But can man stop war? And will the next one possibly be a nuclear war? Is World War III inevitable? If humanity carries on living as it's doing now, then my answers are, no, you can't stop war. And World War III may be one of them. Okay, is there any solution at all? And what lifestyle do we need to live to bring about an end to conflict? First, let me say that what are not solutions? Peace treaties, international committees, or the UN. Since the UN was formed in 1945, there have been over 140 wars. They haven't got it right either. You have to really dig deep in history to find a more sinful and degraded time than we live in today. The scale of it is really staggering. 90 billion animals slaughtered for food yearly, 1.5 billion abortions since 1980, Rampant drug abuse, alcoholism, sexuality, ethnic cleansing, race discrimination, pedophilia. There's just senseless destruction of forests, waterways. Anyway, I can go on and on. The bottom line is this. For every action, there's a reaction. For every action not in harmony with God's and nature's laws, man will get a reaction, and that's karma. That karma stores up. And when it hits a critical point, a tipping point, then something happens. Plague, tsunami, earthquake, and yes, also war, and maybe World War III. Karma is the subtle laws of nature. Like gravity, you can't get away from it. So the answer is that we need to change our lifestyle. We need to live in ways that do not accumulate karma. In that way, we can live in peace and not be blown to pieces.